and I can attest to the fact that around the country, these female athletes who oppose the inclusion of Leah Thomas in the women's divisions were threatened, intimidated, and emotionally blackmailed into silence and submission. But unfortunately, our experiences are not unique. The number of female athletes who have been denied opportunities, traumatized, or hurt by policies that claim to promote inclusion is growing at an alarming rate. I hear these, these female athletes and their parents. Um, I hear from these people who are seriously injured, one with permanent injuries um, that will plague the rest of her life because she was forced to compete against a much physically stronger man. This is unacceptable, and the integrity of women's sports is lost. It's unfair, it's discriminatory, and it must stop. Women's rights to privacy, single-sex spaces, and opportunities are being encroached on. Sports, sororities, locker rooms, dorm rooms, shelters, prisons. Some have tried to tar those of us speaking up for women's safety, security, and opportunities as transphobic or bigoted, and this is untrue. I've heard from people within this community, gay, lesbian, and trans-identifying Americans that agree females should not be asked to step aside and make room for male-bodied individuals, no matter how they identify. Defending women's rights is not anti-anyone. Believing in biology is not bigoted. And following the science that there are only two sexes and that there are very real and important differences between the two sexes is not hateful, it's fact. I'll end with a quote very briefly from tennis legend Martina Navratilova. There will always be significant numbers of boys and men who would beat the best girls and women in head-to-head competition. Claims to the contrary are simply a denial of science. Um, I I thank you guys for for listening, and I, I truly hope you heard.